I'm Ben. Hi, I'm Ben. Hi, I'm Ben. My name is Ben Ueda. My background is in architecture, but now I sort of just work as a designer at large. So without more ado, let's give it up for Ben Ueda. Today, we're going to make pottery out of concrete. Today, we're going to make a sofa out of bamboo plywood. Today, today, today. So nice to meet you in person, because I've seen the videos. There are literally hundreds of these out there now, millions of views. So before I tell you the business reasons why I publish my design ideas instead of patenting them and turning them into products. I'll share some of the reasons why I became interested in design in the first place. Today, we're going to make a sofa and the heats up. I love architecture so much. I studied architecture at Cornell, both undergrad and grad, and it actually stayed on to be part of the faculty teaching some of the, the first courses on sustainable design in the architecture school. I loved all of that experience, but as I got farther and farther into architecture practice with my own firm uh, that I co-founded, Zero Energy Design, if you do design as a service, it takes just as long to design a affordable house well as it does an expensive house well. But there's way more money in the commission on the expensive houses. So even as you're trying to focus on things like sustainability and affordable housing, there's this constant business push because you want to create stability for your employees. And so you feel this constant tension that feels like it's impossible to resolve in a holistic manner. It's like, how do I align my inherent motivations to provide for myself and my family, to make a good living, to create a good quality of life, and at the same time, express myself as a designer. And that's where kind of YouTube's uh, came in. Hi, Ben here. In this sort of second act of my career, I just sort of started making videos around 2014. I became really interested in how do I give away my design ideas, but how do I still monetize the creation and incentivize the generation of new ideas? And so I made some YouTube videos. I think the first video I made was a vase out of a wine bottle. And I'm gonna show you how to make this herb garden out of old wine bottles. And then I just kept escalating. I did slightly bigger projects. So then we did a, I designed a three-legged stool that could just be made with, you know, a handsaw and a five gallon bucket, just pour in a little bit of concrete, put in the three sticks, wait 24 hours, pop it out, and you have a three-legged stool. That design went on and has now been built on six different continents. There's small businesses that make and sell those kind of stools. They're used in schools in Uganda. They're used in pretty much every, every possible seating application you can imagine all over the world. And I never sold anything. I just made one and then shared a 90 second video or so of that process. Where that sort of leads today is probably our most intriguing current project is we're recycling giant 30 foot windmill blades that we harvested out in the Palm Desert. In our sort of outdoor workshop, we have these just massive, beautiful fiberglass objects that we're transforming into large 30 foot long outdoor tables for local restaurants. We're basically taking these things that are from about 60 miles away at the local wind farm that would be going into a landfill and that will never decompose. We're modifying them, cutting them up, adding to them, repainting them, resurfacing them, and then handing them off to our local restaurants. So it's, it's one of the examples I'm so proud of because it is both local and global at the same time, right? Like that idea of act local, think global. With digital media, you can do it all.